Okay, I'm going to link two tables to each other. The CD table and the owner table. The link between the two will be a one-to-many. Um, one CD can be owned by one owner, but the owner can have many CDs. For example, under the CD table, you will see that the first CD, CD name green, is owned by user number one. If you want to know whose owner ID is number one, you can go to the owner table and you will note that the owner name is Jim, owner center and Jim. So the owner of the CD green is in fact Jim James. Okay, but to make set up that link in access, you'll have to go to database tools, go to relationships, okay, then you can add both your tables. You can add close oops added extra one okay so the owner id will be the foreign key so if you want to set up the link you must select the primary key and drag it over to the foreign key then you can select the enforcer referential integrity and click on create then it access will tell you that there's a database engine cannot lock table 3 table because it's already in use by another person or process so then you can just cancel quickly and make sure that you close the tables okay so it must be closed for this link to be created so select the owner id drag it over to the foreign key and then you can check enforce the referential integrity and you will see that it makes a link one to many one owner can own many CDs. This is the foreign key, this is the primary key. If you go back to your tables, you will see that there is a plus, little plus sign now on the left hand side. If you click on the plus sign, it will show you all the owners. Oh no, all the CDs owned by Jim. If you click on the plus next to John, it will show you all the CDs owned by John. So John doesn't have any CDs. You click on Kevin, it will show you that Kevin owns only one CD and the CD name is Give. Go to the CD table, you will see the owner IDs were entered in under the foreign key owner ID.